remember that story? You haven't read it to me in a long time. Here it is. Your great Aunt Harriet gave me this book when I was a little girl. Great Aunt Harriet always gives the best presents. <laughs> the Quest of the Green Knight. One day, not so near as yesterday, but not so far as a long time ago, there was a not-too-tiny village in a land fairly far away. Nobody knew why, but winter had lingered far too long. Indeed, spring was long past due, and the people were very worried. If we can't plant our crops for the summer, we'll starve come the winter, the people cried. Brave knights came from far and wide, all pledging to bring spring to the village. Hooray for the brave knights, the people cheered. But although they tried very hard, the brave knights failed in their quest to bring spring. We're doomed, the people cried. But all was not lost, for in a castle overlooking the village was the bravest knight of all, the Green Knight. Look, Mom, the Green Knight really is green. Just like a certain turtle we know. <laughs> Alas, Green Knight, I fear we will all go hungry, said the squire. I fear at nothing, squire, said the Green Knight. And so the Green Knight and his faithful squire ventured forth, searching for spring. I will bring spring to this sad and gray place, for I am the bravest knight in all the land. The people will cheer no one but me. They think we may have taken an unwanted direction, sire. And methinks I hear something. Or someone. Hark, squire. Someone needs my help. Charge! Very good. <laughs> Charge! Release that goblin immediately. Yes, yes. And now I must be off. Spring still eludes us. Squire! Sire! Wait! If it is spring ye seek, then let me repay you for saving my life. For deep in the forest, where the sun rises and the rainbow ends, is a cherry tree as old as time itself. Take of its blossoms and scatter them about thy land. Spring will come. Point us in the direction, goblin. The Green Knight's close to finding spring, isn't he? <laughs> Very close. The Green Knight followed the goblin's directions and came upon a tree bursting with magic cherry blossoms. Squire? Sire. What joy to touch the heart of spring. Suddenly, a voice came from nowhere and everywhere. Halt! Who goes there? Right? Close. Halt. I am the guardian of the tree. <laughs> Who dares to approach? I am the Green Knight. I have come to take thy blossoms so that my country may finally see spring. These blossoms are not yours for the taking. You must prove yourself worthy, Green Knight. <laughs> Oh, my lord, said the squire. This is the most fearsome of dragons. I fear it nothing. My lance, squire. The 
dragon's hide. It is like armor. No lance can penetrate it. <laughs> Hark! This dragon's tail is not covered in armor. Wait a minute. Frogs don't have teeth. <laughs> You're right. Sire. Squire. <laughs> Now my country will know that I, the Green Knight, am the bravest, most heroic knight of all. So it is glory you desire, not your people's good. You may have defeated the Dragon Green Knight, but alas, you are not worthy. You are right. What does the Tree Guardian mean? He means that sometimes doing something good isn't enough. If you're doing it for the wrong reasons. So what did the Green Knight do? The only thing he could do. I am not a true knight. A true knight acts with a true heart. But sire! Pretty wait, Green Knight. With those words thou hast redeemed thyself. You may take the cherry blossoms. Thank you, Guardian of the Tree. You are wise and you are kind. Goodbye, Green Knight, Squire. Fare thee well. And so, the Green Knight and his Squire hurried home and cast the blossoms upon the winter wind. Farewell, Winter. We bid thee welcome, Spring. joy, for he had let spring's beauty enter his heart. The end. Wow! What a great story! Can you read it again, Mom? Can you? Please? Maybe tomorrow, Franklin. Right now, it's time for bed. Oh, I'm not sleepy. But I am. Good night, Mom. <laughs> We sure could use the Green Knight right about now, huh, Sam? <laughs>